Hey everybody, we are back with yet another Northwind tier list. It's been about a year since my last one. The last one was like 70, 80 minutes, I don't remember. It was a very long two-part video, and we're going to try and condense it this year. There are 74 fucking weapons, there's even more than there were last year, so we're just going to go quickly, relatively quickly. We'll see how fast we can do this, because Jesus Christ, there's so many weird, absurd weapons now from all the Ducat stuff, like all those packages and what have you, and then... Obviously, the brand new meta, which we'll get into shortly. So, let's do throwing knives first. Throwing knives are very solid. We've got the, uh, what's this called? The kunai knife, and we've got the, just the regular one of the mill throwing knife. Where is that boy? Where is he hiding? Where is my throwing knife? There he is. Uh, these are meta. You get these guys from chests, uh, flag fort chests. You get these guys, just you craft them. Very good. You should always have at least one of these on you, if not in a knife belt. They're, just, they're solid. This one does 50, this one does 60. You throw them. They're good little throwables. Native Axe, the Tribal War Axe. I don't like these very much. They don't have enough damage for my taste. Uh, a lot of people do like them because it has a little bit less stamina consumption than all of the other meta axes. They're usable, but I just I don't really like these. All the shit Tribal Pole Arms. Let's get these out of the way just so I don't have to deal with them. Um, this is what's this fucking called? Uh, Ritual Spear. Tribal Spear. Tribal Pike. These two, uh, this one's just a hatchet, but shittier. This one does decent damage, has a good throw, but slow. This is the only good one. This one does 30 damage, gets about 6 swings, and it's just a solid little weapon with 70 thrown. It's kind of like old Tomahawk, but with longer reach. I do like this. This is probably the best native weapon. This is the Tribal Spear. Uh, let's get all the shitty hatchets out of the way, bonk stick included. Don't use these weapons if you can afford to. Like These are just not great weapons. They are dealing like 25 damage apiece, 65 thrown. They've got good stamina, but their hitboxes are atrocious. The bonk stick has a decent hitbox. The rest of these are terrible hitbox-wise. <clears throat> Bayonet? Eh. Bayonet's going to be down here as well. Bayonet just did not do very well with the last uh, series of updates. Uh, Stone Spear we're going to put right here in usable. They are uh, just better than these guys. I, I, just, I, I, like them. I, I like them. What can I say? And I believe this has a little bit more... Uh, stamina than this one. This one uses more stamina than this one does, and so you can get more swings out of this one. Uh, so that's why I like stone spears. They're also lightning fast. They're decent for dueling. They're horrendous for anything outside safe zone. <clears throat> and we've got tomahawk all the way up here. These are pretty solid. They have a terrible hitbox, just like all the hatchets, but they do 45 damage, and they can be thrown for 90 fucking damage, which is insane. These are very solid inside duels, well, they're okay inside duels. They're, they're good outside safe zone, though, for sure. As long as you're okay with losing your melee by throwing it. Next up, we've got the stupid fucking boarding pike. They're okay. Eh, they're, they're, just, they're not great. They're kind of slow. They have good reach. They have the longest reach of anything in-game. But again, they're kind of slow, and they telegraph like crazy because they're so lethargic and because they're so fucking long. Not a huge fan of that. We'll get our axes out of the way as well. Um, actually, no, I'll put the broad axe up here. So, these are the axes, if I recall correctly, the boarding axe does 70, I want to say, the broad axe does 75, and this guy, the great axe, does 80. Uh, great axe is a stamina hog, it's very obnoxious using this thing. They're good outside safe zone, but they're terrible in duels. Uh, these two, I'd say, are probably markedly better than this guy, so we're putting this guy down here. Next, we've got a slept on weapon, the long spear. The long spear is basically old great pike, but with four swings instead of six. So you can get four swings out of the long spear. This this weapon, unironically, pretty slept on. It's very fast for a spear, which is awkward. It, it's like, oh, it's probably about as fast as like sabers and cutlasses. It, it's it's surprisingly fast for a spear. You will telegraph because it is a spear. It's a long fucking pole arm. You will telegraph. So it's not as unpredictable as those weapons, but it is fast. It is a quality weapon for dueling. It's a quality weapon for use outside of safe zone. Next up, you know it, obviously, Cutlass, Saber. Tried and true meta for two years now. I don't know. They've been around forever. They're good. Cutlasses are super, super easy to get. Uh, sabers are just Cutlass reskins, essentially. There's a slight variance somewhere. I don't fucking know. It, I have no idea what the difference is. Apparently, it's a difference. I can't find it. But if there is one, let me know. I've heard this one has a little bit longer reach. Moving on, um, well, actually, uh, yeah, these do 40 damage, by the way, and so does this one, so just be aware of that. Shitty little pistol, we've got the shark pistol, well, I'll put it here, they're usable, they do 40 damage now, they got a bit of a nerf, uh, they're usable. 
Uh, crossbows are actually doing pretty good right now. Crossbows are very solid. They're very, very, very good for CQC stuff. They're a great choice for that. They're a master, so they are annoying to get, and the uh, bolt quivers are expert hunting, uh, expert leatherworking, I think. So annoying to get, annoying to keep maintained, but if you can, these are probably the best CQC weapon when it comes to ranged shit right now. They're very good. Uh, war axes are usable. Labry's axes are usable. These are like old tomahawk prior to the buffs. So 30 damage, 5-ish, 6-ish swings. Um, horrendous hitbox, but that's just the nature with all tomahawks and hatchets. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Falchions are horrible. Um, they're just sl swords, but slow. They do decent damage, but otherwise they're just not good. Uh, what's this fucking called? Backswords. They are tomahawks with a little bit better hitbox, but doesn't have the stamina. It's it's a tomahawk without the stamina. Um, and they do 30 damage, and they, they just suck for that. This is uh, Charlie Musket. Uh... Charlie Carbine, Whitney Musket. Let's get these all on the board. Uh, now that bayonets are nerfed, Charlies are just kind of usable. Carbines, uh, except for the Calvet, which we'll get to, are all dog shit. Um, but yeah, no, the Carbines we're definitely putting down here. They're not very good. They do 50 damage. Uh, they're just kind of worse muskets right now. Their reload time isn't as fast as the Calvet, and the Calvet's the only decent Carbine at the moment. It's got a nice, fast reload. It's, it's what I'd go for if you want something a little longer ranged than a crossbow but still a decently fast reload to the point that you'll be reloading before your opponent in like a 1v1. So, Calvet, I do recommend these. Go away. I do recommend these. I do recommend these, for sure. I don't recommend these. Uh, Blunders, they're meta. They've been meta for a while. Great Pikes, they're bad. They're slow and dumb and stupid now. They got nerfed into the ground. What is that? Whitney Musket. Or maybe it's called something different now. I don't know. That's meta. Prussian Cavalry, Holstein Pistol, whatever you want to call it. Oh, sorry. Whitney, no, no, no. Whitney's you to... Ugh. Whitney is usable. It's just a Charlie reskin at the moment. They got rid of the uh, slight damage buff. So now these two are interchangeable. The... Let me let me just show them real quick. For the screen. So, Charlie Musket, Charlie Carbine. 60 damage, 50 damage. Whitney Musket, Whitney Carbine, 60 damage, 50 damage. Their reloads are very close together. There's... You don't have to use these when we get to the ones that are meta. Like, honestly, the rifles are beating out the muskets. Um, I think I might just put the Charlie musket here because it's so easy to get. Otherwise, meh, it's just a Charlie musket. You know, that there are better options for DPS. And now that bayonets suck, there are better options for melee. So next we've got the uh, Clark musket. Eh, I guess I'll put it meta. I don't see it that frequently, but it does do 70, which is uh, good. Uh, Jaegers, they do 65 now, but they're pretty accurate. I'll put them up here. I'll also put the Kentucky up here, the Milton, if you want to be a new gen about it. These two, um, Jaegers do 65, Kentuckys do 70. Jaegers are more accurate than Kentuckys, though. They're relatively balanced. I'd probably pick the Kentucky over the Jaeger, but then again, the Kentucky is ugly as sin, so maybe I would pick the Jaeger. Uh, you do you on that one. Either way, these are pretty meta. I see these all the fucking time. Uh, Gisales, I'm hearing mixed things about Gisales. I heard they're better now. I'm not sure. I do see them a lot, though, so we are putting them in meta. All the shitty native knives, all the shitty treasure knives are going down here. Rapier, as you know, is absurdly fucking good. Well, it's great for dueling. It's not great outside safe zone. This thing gets five swings, 35 damage, and it's very hard to tell what direction it's swinging from, which is super good if you're in a duel, but... It doesn't really matter if you're fighting like a masterwork or something outside safe zone. So they do not compete with like maces and masterworks and boarding axes outside safe zone, but they're very good in duels. They're also super rare, so it doesn't really matter. Next up we have the Scimitar. It's just a saber reskin. Next up we have Espengole. It's kind of just like a clunkier blunderbuss that takes more ammo and is kind of a bitch to deal with. Next up we've got the Tradesman. To my knowledge, it's a more accurate Kentucky that does 70 damage. It's just a good little fort chest um, musket. Uh, tradesman, is the tradesman a musket? I think so. I think he can match a bayonet. So yeah, tradesman goes up here for sure. It's good meta. We've got the Etienne. I don't know why you'd use it. You'd have to insure it. That's a fucking pointless thing to insure. Tane. It does 75, just like the Dezale. I think they're pretty solid right now. Um, people don't run them because people don't have them. But if you did, these are pretty solid choices. They do a lot of damage to the head. 75 to the body. I think it's like 90 to the head. I don't know. They're good though. And we've got all of our mid-tier knives. These are slightly better than the shitty knives. We'll keep them relatively uniform up here. 
And these guys, I'll do 25 damage. They're, they're about the same. I used to think Kukui was better than these ones. They're about the same. Kukui uses a tiny bit less stamina. Uh, so these are all the weird, like, Ducat knives and shit. Bonnie pistol, I don't care. It's, just, it's, it's like the ITN, but just another shit pistol, whatever. Another shit native knife. Um, longbow, tribal... What's the tribal one? The tribal longbow. What's that fucking called? Is it just named the tri... I, I don't have the names on them. Um, yeah, whatever. Bows, you know what I think about bows. You heard my rant the last time we did one of these. Bows are good for hunting, and they're good for conserving ammo. They're not good for PvP. They're okay in, like, a faction setting where you've got, like, 20 guys v. 20 guys or some shit. Um, but they, they are, like, the ultimate glass cannon. The instant your shitty little bow is noticed by the enemy team and primaried and taken off the board, like, done. You're, just, you're done. You know, bows are great up until the instant you get shot at. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Uh, so I wouldn't ever use a bow in any sort of 1v1, 2v2 little friend setting ever. You just, you just, you sacrifice all of your mobility for a slightly faster, no, a significantly faster fire rate. Um, and that's just not going to win you anything in Northwood, unfortunately. Um, but I do put these two bows above the other bows. These are the two long bows because you can half charge the long bows and get a fire rate comparable to the hunting bows and short bows uh, with damage comparable. So why the fuck would you bother with the other bows? Um, this is just the... What's this called again? It's the sharp pistol, but for HPC. This is Dragoon Sword. I'm I've, I'm in between good meta and usable. Dragoon Swords, are, they're okay. Um, I don't think they're as good as Cutlass or Saber, just because Cutlass and Saber... I think those are slightly better. Because um, they don't telegraph as much. Cutlass and Saber don't telegraph that much. Um, especially when you get really good with them. Dragoon Swords, I think, telegraph more, because the arms are very obvious, and so are the animations. So Dragoon Sword, gonna be on this tier, but lower than most other melees here. Doglock, it's good, although I don't know why you'd use it, because you'd have to insure it. Um, it does 70 damage, which is great for a pistol, but again, you'd have to fucking insure it, which means you're costing your primary slot. Ah, we'll say it's good. It's good. It's good slash meta. And then we've got all the weird fucking guns. So, guns and swords of weird origins. This one, Spartan's Katana, it's uh, it's like a rapier on steroids, it swings ridiculously fast, it has insane stats, it's like a 2 a kill or something, I don't know, it, it's just an OP dev weapon, who cares, no one even has them. Uh, that's going up there, Masterwork, we all know the Masterwork, 4 swings, 50 damage, obviously meta. Mace? Hmm. Mace is going to be on the top of the good chart. Masterworks and Maces are both very solid for duels, and they're both very, very solid outside when it comes to PvP. The Masterwork does beat out the Mace, because the Masterwork is just a better Mace, but both of these, I would say, significantly beat out the Axes. Now, some people say the Axes have better range than the Mace, therefore it's better, but who fucking cares? The Mace gets three swings, and all Axes get, like, two swings. I would take a Mace any day of the week. It's so fast. So, I personally believe the Mace is better than all of the Axes, and everyone believes the Masterwork is better than the Mace and all of the Axes. Uh, the Masterwork is the best melee right now, hands down. We've got the Doplet. Everyone knows the Doplet's goaded. We've got the Reed Rifle. Reed Rifle's very good. And we've got the... What the fuck are you? The Ferguson Rifle? This is another dev weapon. I have no idea what the Ferguson does. I guess we'll just put it here. I don't know. This is a, It's a dev weapon. We don't know the stats of it. Which it, it exists. <laughs> I have no idea what it does, though. Why can't I zoom in? Come on, zoom in. There we go. Stupid fucking trackpad. Uh, yeah, so, read. You can mount a scope on it, just like you can with all the other rifles. It's the most accurate rifle. It does 70 damage. It's a great little plinker. I love the read. This is what you should be running most of the time, if you can afford it. They're pretty easy to get. They're only expert level hunting uh, contracts. Or no, they're, they're the fourth level of five levels when it comes to hunting stuff. Daplet is the third level of the... Bounty board, these are very good. Uh, one shot, one kill, very solid 100 damage gun. Ferguson, I don't know, it's a dev weapon, I'm memeing, that's why it's up here. Uh, Masterwork is the max level smithing stuff, and now that they've fixed uh, duping, and they've fixed all of the grinds so that you can't just buy shit on one island and sell it at another island, these are properly hard as fuck to get now, so all these weapons are hard to get. Uh, these two are dev weapons. These weapons here are very hard to get. Uh, Reed's okay, these two are very hard. Yeah, sorry, these two, these two here are very hard to get, but if you can, they are the best weapons in the game right now. Rapier is good, but there's like four of them. Um, dev weapon, dev weapon, and the reed. 
which is, which is the best musket, or sorry, the best rifle, hands down, because rifles right now are just in a better spot than muskets, because bayonet sucks, and you use a musket for the bayonet. Uh, so yeah, this is my tier list. Uh, these weapons here are the best weapons in the game. This is everything that the player base uses, pretty much. This is like, this is going to be 90% of the player base, all the weapons here. These are okay, but I probably wouldn't be using any of these. Uh, these are weapons that you should not be using, and these are weapons that I wouldn't be caught dead even around. These are horrible. Don't use these in combat unless you have none of the weapons above them. Uh, yeah, so that is my tier list of all 74 fucking Northern weapons. I hope you all enjoyed. We'll probably have to make another one of these next year, and I'm sure there's going to be a million new Ducat weapons we've got to just go through at that point in time. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> this has been kind of a pain to compile, but I'm glad it produced a product like this. Bye-bye now.